won a Nobel Prize in 1988 for discovering how a colorless gas called nitric oxide can be used to signal blood vessels to relax and widen, thus lowering blood pressure. Now, Steve, after that discovery, it has now been found that nitric oxide can help in pulmonary hypertension in premature babies, adults, and even in cancer treatment. Let me ask you about nitric oxide. Now, that's what we're talking about this morning. And from what I know, it's a colorless gas, can be used to help blood vessels relax and open up. And so how is it being used for treatments these days? It makes its own nitric oxide mm -hmm. under the influence of lots of hormones and drugs as well. And not only does it dilate blood vessels and improve blood flow to tissues and, and uh, organs, uh, but it has other biological effects as well. Lots of other effects. Mm -hmm. But in particular, it's being used to sort of help treat heart disease, is that right? It's being used to improve blood flow, uh, treat compounds that get converted to nitric oxide, mm -hmm. are being used for angina, hypertension. They're being used in intensive care units to lower blood pressure in patients that have myocardial infarctions, uh, heart attacks. Mm -hmm. You decrease the blood pressure, you decrease the workload on the heart, you get to relax the heart a little bit in the intensive care unit. Right. They're used in patients with very severe hypertension, we call it malignant hypertension, right. to lower their blood pressure. And that was Nobel Laureate Professor Farid Murad on how he discovered nitric oxide and its major implications on how hypertension is being treated.